Hello world, I'm David Kidd of DK Ministries. Enjoying this beautiful, wonderful day out here on my porch. It's the day that the Lord has made. And again, I say, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm always rejoicing in the day the Lord has made. It's a wonderful day. Uh, and I just thank God for it. I thank Him for all He's done. And I ask, you know, right now that you would just open your hearts and be able to hear what uh, the message that God has kind of given me. And I pray that it will be received, you know, well. And that uh, I guess the meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. But I want to talk to you today from the Word of God. And I'm always coming to you from the Word of God. And this is something that's, that's on my mind that, that we need to understand what God actually has done for us even before we were even born. Hallelujah. I mean, if you if you really realize uh, the extent he went through and went to before you was born, he knew what situation you were going to be in. He knew the trials and tribulations you would have. He knew what was going to attack your body. And he made provision for it. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You know, and we're going to come from the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. And I want to read two verses out of this. Book of Ephesians, chapter 1. It's a letter that Paul wrote to the Ephesians, and he's trying to encourage them and let them know, you know, what God has done for, for them. You know, and I'm, I want to say, you know, pay close attention to what I'm about to say, because it really can help you uh, in your life and help you get healed, help you get set free, help you get delivered, help you to prosper in every area of life. This right here, these two scriptures that I'm about to read, understanding what God has done. And it says in first, I mean, in, in the first chapter of Ephesians, verse 3 and verse 4, it says, Blessed be, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Notice what he said. Blessed be, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. He's blessed us. With all spiritual blessings. You know, all blessings that come down from heaven, they come down spiritual. They're spiritual before they manifest uh, to be physical. You, it's, it's hard to get a physical blessing that hasn't, manif that hasn't developed first in the spirit realm. Spirit realm comes first and then it manifests in, this, in the physical realm. But look at what he said. Blessed be God and our Father. Blessed be God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Then verse 4, it says, According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Notice, it said, according as he has chosen us, God chose you. Before the fountain, listen, when I say before, hey, this is before the beginning. Before it says in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Before it, uh, uh, he said, let there be light. He chose you before he laid the foundation to this world, to this earth, to this universe. Before he laid the foundation, he chose you in him. He chose you. He chose us in him. So we came out of him only to come back and serve and worship him and accept his son jesus christ that's why we are blessed with all heavenly with, with, that's why we're blessed with spiritual blessings in heavenly places because of the fact that we come not only out of him through him but he chose us so that we would be healed set free sanctified delivered out of bondage prosper you know he, he said I wish above all that you prosper and be in heaven, even if your soul prosper. God wants you to prosper in every aspect of life. God wants your body healed. He already knew what you were going to go through before the foundation of the world. And he chose you. He chose you before you even chose him. 
He had already chosen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. About to preach myself happy out here on this porch. Because God chose me. <clears throat> Through all my mishaps, through all my sins, through all the things that I've done wrong, through all my times when I didn't do right, through all those things that, 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 that just came out of my mouth wrong, for all those things that I said wrong, for all those things I did with my body that was wrong, for all those thoughts, the evil thoughts that I had, for all the actions that I shouldn't have done that I did do. And God and God washed me and cleansed me with the blood of Jesus Christ. But he blessed me with spiritual blessings in heavenly places. I'm blessed because I was chosen in him before the foundation of the world. And in return, I chose him to be my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You need to do the same. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm happy that he chose me. Look at this. Before the foundation of the world. He chose me. Look at this. Let's go to, let's go over here to Revelations. I want to show you something what he says in Revelation. Revelations 13 and 8. Let's look at that. Because here's another foundation situation where he's told you again, he's trying to reestablish the fact of how you were chosen in him before the foundation of the world. Revelations 13 and 8. It says, And all that dwell, oh, let me go to verse 7. It says, And it was given unto him to make war in the saints more of the saints and to overcome them and the power was given to him over all kindred and tongues and nations so he he's talking about uh, the end times here but then he looks at in verse 8 it says and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him who are you talking about shall worship him whose names are written in the book of life he's talking about worshiping jesus christ remember he, you were chosen in him remember he said blessed be the god our father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven, place him according as he has chosen us in him and who? In Jesus Christ. Then he said in verse 8 over him, chapter 13, verse 8 of Revelation, it says, And all that dwell on the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All of them, all and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life. And he's talking about who they're not going to worship. Who is this? All of them who dwell in the earth shall, uh, shall worship. And who are they worshiping? This right here, see, I worship because my name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. So I worship Jesus. Those whose names are not written in the Lamb Book of Life, guess what? They worship the enemy. They worship Satan. They worship the Antichrist. That's who they worship. But he said, I chose you. I chose you from the foundation. Because he said, a written, a written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. The lamb slain from that. That's Jesus. The lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Before you messed up. Before you made your first mistake. Before you sinned. When you came out of your mama's womb. Before you said your bad word. Before you, you did the, something that your mama told you not to do. Before you ever thought a sinful thought. Before you were gleaming your daddy's eye. God had already made a way for you, had already slain the lamb before the foundation of the world. And he chose you to, and all you had to do is choose him to receive the, the blessings in heavenly places. God said, look, I got you. All you got to do is trust me. I got you is what he said. You need to trust that God has you and he, and you, and he has slain, had you in his mind before the foundation of the of the world god got you look at he got you so much that he says in first first corinthians first corinthians chapter uh 10 verse 13 he says there has no temptation taking you but such is common to man but god is faithful oh i'm so glad god is faithful because there's no t temptation is taking you such is common to man there's no temptation you except such as coming to man i mean whatever temptations came your way is coming to man but god hallelujah praise be to god god is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it hallelujah praise be to god here you know what god has made a way 
for you to get out of that temptation, made a way for you to be the bear of temptation. Why? Because even before that temptation came, even before you got in that situation, the way he made him escape, made it made an escape was that he he took the lamb and he slayed him before the foundation of the world. And before the foundation of the world, he chose you. He chose me. And I'm so glad I'm so grateful and so glad that God chose me from the foundation of the world hallelujah the god chose me from the foundation of the world and the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world that means that the blood of jesus was ready to be applied to my life the blood of jesus and the stripes on his back were ready to be applied to my sickness to my you know so that i could be healed because when the scripture tells me that he himself took my infirmities and bore my and bore my sicknesses that means jesus before i before i even got sick jesus had already took it Jesus already done it. Jesus took it away. So if he took it, there's no need both of us trying to take it. No, both of us trying to carry it. If he bore it, there's no need me to be trying to bear it. If he already bore your sins, there's no need you to try to carry your sins. If he's already bore your sicknesses, if he already took your infirmities, there's no need for you to carry it. Both of y'all can't carry the same thing. If I got a load in my hands, a big box, and I'm carrying it, you can't carry it too. Now, you can help me carry it, but that's not the same thing. Because Jesus said, "Don't I'm not going to help you carry it. I'm going to take it from you and carry it for you. Hallelujah. Praise be God. I'm so glad that when my sickness was hitting me, that when my body was rack racking with fever and pain, when I was hurting, and when you're going through diabetes, cancer, uh, eye problems, knee problems, lung problems, uh, liver problems, kidney problems, no matter what the problem is, Jesus said, hey, I've already took it. I'm, I've, I've taken it. I'm ready to take it. Just just cast your care all over me because I care for you. Cast it on me. Let me carry it. Let me care for you. Yes. Give it to Jesus. Because before the foundation of the world, God had already slain the lamb. And he's already chosen you from the beginning. Even before the beginning, from the foundation of the world, he chose you. And he chose me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm David Kidd, and I just thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for blessing this. Uh, uh, hoping this hoping this bless you some kind of way. Hope that you, you it, it speaks to you that you can use it in your life and you understand what God has actually done for you. God bless you. And I come before you and I just say thank you. Thank you, God, for a chance, the opportunity to spread this word. Thank you, God. You know, feel free to comment, make any comments text me let me know what's going on 706 202 8735 let me know what your thoughts are if you got a subject let me know what you want me to talk about but i thank you for watching and you know you can always make donations kd kid yes you can look that up it's always a link i'm david kid of dk ministries may god bless you keep you make his face shine upon you and lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace god bless you remember this I love you. God loves you. Be blessed, people.